throughout history. Mankind has reported on all sorts of strange occurrences, witches, werewolves, vampires, UFOs, ghosts, angels, and demons. Are these all just urban legends, stories, or myths? Or is there some form of truth that lurks in the shadows? Together, we endeavor to explore and investigate these strange occurrences which have taken place throughout mankind's history. Together, we are ETFW. Welcome to the library. Residing in downtown Baltimore is an exquisite old red brick hotel that one would assume is out of a movie or book. This beautiful hotel has played host to countless visitors throughout the years, but a less known truth is the guests who just won't leave. This of course is the Lord Baltimore Hotel. The hotel was designed by William Lee Stoddard and opened on December 30, 1928. The 22-story hotel, designed in the French Renaissance style, has a dark red brick veneer with limestone trim over a steel frame. The building, which is 289 feet tall, is topped with a tower featuring a mansard roof of copper, now aged with a green patina. It replaced the smaller but substantial Hotel Carswell, built shortly after the Great Baltimore Fire in 1904. The hotel itself has 439 guest rooms and suites, designed for the guests' comfort and mind. Rooms all have comfortable furnishings. Standard rooms have approximately 330 feet of space, while parlor suites have separate bedrooms and living room areas. Despite being a beautiful hotel with exquisite furniture and finishings inside, the Baltimore Hotel has had a rather dark and mysterious past, and according to legends, is home to a few otherworldly guests. Over the course of its almost 90 year history, the Lord Baltimore Hotel has had reports of paranormal activity. After its construction in 1928, the hotel was one of the tallest buildings in the city. The Great Fire of 1904 destroyed downtown Baltimore, and around the time of the Great Depression, there were at least 20 documented reports of jumpers from the 19th floor rooftop deck. The most spoken about is that of a couple who attended an event at the hotel with their daughter. The family then proceeded to the roof of the building and jumped off. Their daughter Molly is typically seen in the halls of the 19th floor and even in the ballroom. She is seen wearing a long cream dress and black shoes, playing with her red ball. She has also been seen screaming, crying and rocking herself back and forth. A staff member of the hotel has also reported seeing two adults in 1930s clothes dancing in the ballroom and even strolling the hallways of the old hotel, holding hands as they walk along. There have been other reports of the elevators making constant trips to the 19th floor at night, even when there is no one ringing the bell. People have also reported being touched by unseen hands in the elevator, as well as in the lobby, and many guests have complained about an unseen presence lingering in their rooms, watching them while they sleep. One of the most curious occurrences that happens in this hotel is that of the penthouse. Supposedly, there is a handprint of a small child on the wall that no matter what staff do, they're unable to remove it. What do you believe of the Lord Baltimore Hotel? Would you be brave enough to stay the night? If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and comment down below your thoughts. Until next time, we are ETFW.